Hey everybody, Thurston Howe here, and this uh, this algebra lesson is uh, uh, the beginning of chapter one, so it's almost a pre-algebra lesson. So evaluating expressions and using uh, exponents. Okay, uh, so evaluate this expression when c equals four. Okay, four c. If there's nothing in between, then the c and the four, it's understood to be multiplied. So four times four is going to be sixteen. Okay, how about this? 8 over c. Well, that means division. 8 divided by c. So 8 divided by, by 4 is 2. Okay? Uh, c minus 3. So you plug in 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. Easy, huh? Makes you giggly inside, huh? 15 plus c. 15 plus 4 is 19. Okay, evaluate uh, each power. x to the fourth when x equals 2. So that means you're going to go 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 times, because it's to the power of 4. And just let's go through this. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Okay? How about um, 1 to the seventh? Okay? 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. 1 times anything. 1 times itself always equals 1, so that comes out to be 1 x to the third when x equals 8. Okay, that's going to be 8 times 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 times 8 bum, da, la, is going to be, um, oh, I, I'm doing it long. Okay, so we're going to go um, 8 times 4 is 32, and I carry the 3 right there, so I'm going to put the 2 down here for the, the, the 2, and the 3 up here for the 30 right there. So, um, and then I, I multiply uh, 8 times 6 is 48, and you remember we add uh, uh, 3 with 48, and you get 51, so it's going to be 512 down there, or 512, okay? Uh, so the answer is 512. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, evaluate the expression x squared when x is 2 thirds. Well, that just means I'm going to square 2 thirds, so 2 thirds times 2 thirds is 4 ninths. Uh, x plus y, so x is 14, y is, uh, is 5.7, so add them together, you get 19.7. Uh, okay? Uh, x, y, z means x times y times z, so you're going to plug in 4 times 3.5 times 7. 4 times 3.5 is 14, and 14 times 7 is, is 98, so the answer is 98. Okay? x over y when x is 24 and y is 2.5, so 24 divided by 2.5. Okay, and uh, so you're going to go 2.5 uh, goes into 24, move the decimal over one place, so now it's 25 goes into 240, all right, and I know, let's see, 25 goes into two, 20, uh, 240 nine times with some change left over, so 9.6. Okay, I didn't do that one for you, I was just saving some video time, it takes a little bit longer, so, so okay, which expression has the greatest value when x equals 10 and y equals 5, okay, so... Uh, this one, x times y, or x minus y, or x divided by y, or y divided by x. So remember, x is 10, and y is 5. Okay, so this one's 10 times 0. 0.5, 10 minus 0. 0.5, 10 divided by 0. 0.5, and 0. 0.5 divided by 10. Okay, let's do this one first. 10 times 0. 0.5 is the same as a half of 10. It's 5. 10 minus 0. 0.5 is 9.5. 10 divided by 0. 0.5, that's the big one right there. That's 20. 10 divided by 0 0.5. 0 0.5 goes into 10. It's the same as 5 goes into 100. 5 goes into 100 20 times. All right, so it's uh, it's that one right there. All right, good job today, you guys.